I miss Korean barbecue. <laughs> no, the vaca. No me gusto. Cow tongue was not good, guys, but I miss Korean barbecue. <laughs> flowers for today's video we are gonna be doing a little DIY I wanted to make my own chocolate covered strawberries last year I actually bought chocolate covered strawberries for Mother's Day Father's Day and Thanksgiving and they were so good and so cute and I thought for Valentine's Day this would be a great idea you could make it for your special someone you could make it for yourself you can make it for your friend for anyone that you want to get a little creative for I'm sure everyone's going to love it and we're gonna get straight to it let's get started Alright guys, so to get started, I'm gonna go ahead and wash the strawberries. Some of these are really big, but we're gonna rinse them. So I have a bowl full of the strawberries. going to need for today's video is going to be your chocolate I also created an Amazon list on my storefront so if you are interested in purchasing some of these items you can click on the link down below and it'll take you straight to where I bought my candies so these are some candy melts and these will be the easiest way to create your chocolate covered strawberries I got a few different colors these are the red chocolate and it's not Valentine's without some pink. My eyeshadow today is pretty Valentine's Day inspired, so I'm all kind of, you know, pink. I also got just a regular chocolate color as well as a white color. So I'm going to be melting these down and then we are going to be dipping the strawberries in them as well as creating our little heart-shaped figures. I also got some sprinkles. Um, I'm going to show you guys each one. So this guy right here has arrows and hearts and this guy right here has hearts and little pearls. These are just red, pink, and white. And then these last ones have X's and O's. I'm so excited. I can't wait and see how they turn out. I think I'm going to start with the molds. So I'm gonna have to melt some chocolate down. What I like about these is that they come with instructions on the side because I need them. I've never done this before guys, so I'm just kind of winging it. It's a little DIY Valentine's Day <laughs> edition. But I honestly think that if you want to get creative for your boyfriend, best friend, whoever it is, even your parents, they will love these. So to get started, I'm going to start by melting the candies. And you can melt them in the microwave um, for 30 seconds. Take it out and stir it and then do it until I think it is good to go. I'm going to be melting the candy in just some bowl. And I'm going to get started with the red color. These are going to be the color of my heart. I thought this would be the hard part, but honestly, it was the easiest part of the whole process. You just throw your candy melts into a bowl or a mug, um, for example, and stick it into the microwave for 30 seconds. Take it out and stir. You will repeat until you find the right consistency. Um, I personally found that it was better when it wasn't too runny, but not too thick either, kind of like what I just showed you and I started with the candy mold which I kind of just wanted for an extra side on the strawberries but honestly guys this was such a cute idea I honestly was just going to leave them plain but then I did a few extra things to them towards the end of the video and you guys will see how they turned out um, once I filled up the little hearts I let them rest to kind of cool 
down and start forming back into a hard chocolate it was so cute i loved how this whole idea ended up turning out i feel like it ended up turning out way better than i had expected to be honest with you guys I went back in with a spoon just to kind of clean up the outer areas. This also pushed in the leftover chocolate into the mold, which was actually a good idea. That way it was all filled up. All right, guys, now I'm going to get into the strawberry dipping. So what I'm going to do is grab my strawberries as well as some mugs. Um, the mugs are just going to help me melt the chocolate so then I can dip it in and out. We're just going to throw these into the cup. In this cup, I'm going to do pink. which I'm only going to do halfway, and also some red. And I'm saving the white for right now, but what I'm gonna start with first are just these three colors. So for this part, it actually took me about 90 seconds with stirring in between every 30 seconds. Um, the first time, was really thick and then um the second time it was kind of in between but i still felt like it needed a little more time so i put it in for a third time and this is what it looked like by the third which i thought was perfect um i did let it cool and while it cooled i kind of started up opening the little cupcake holders that i was going to use to put my strawberries in look how cute they are so I went ahead and stuck a little toothpick into the strawberry so I can kind of use that to um, dip it into the melted chocolate. Look at that strawberry. It's looking very pretty. I'm going to throw some sprinkles right on top. And... Let that kind of cool. All right guys, for this part is where you're going to get creative. I can't tell you that I am an expert because this was the first time trying them out on my own fully going in and i wanted to create a different styles of strawberries and i was basically winging it so all i did for this step was dip in my strawberries and i will tell you your chocolate cannot be too hot or too cold it has to be just the right temperature but basically all i did was dip my strawberries into that melted chocolate and grab these sprinkles randomly the main thing here was my strawberries not looking all the same. So when I say grab your sprinkles randomly, I mean really get creative and even, you know, place the sprinkles where you want them. And you see me doing this, um, but also just have fun with it. Uh, don't be scared to kind of sprinkle a bunch of them on or even just do like one or two X's and O's. It's a lot of fun. Just get creative. I did get three different kinds of sprinkles. And and I do recommend getting a couple just so your strawberries don't all look the same. But honestly, this is the part where you get to get creative and make the strawberries your own, which I had a lot of fun with. Um, but yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoy this. And I hope this is kind of easy. I'm trying to explain it as best as I can. All right guys, not gonna lie, I'm getting super stressed out, but these are some of the ones I have already made. Props to all the girls that actually do this. Yo, this was the first one I made and look how hideous it is. Okay guys, these might look ugly, but you know, I'm, a, I'm not a pro. I'm gonna do these three right here, just so you guys can get 
kind of like an idea of how I do the little swiggles. But I basically grab them on a fork and I kind of just run the butter knife all over. And I save this guy right here too. So you guys can kind of see how I do it. <laughs> I know they're not perfect, but there's one more. Um, I have white. All right, I'm gonna do that guy right there with white chocolate. That was perfect. Ooh, maybe I should add some white on this one. Oh, I just ruined it, it's fine. Did I ruin it? No, I think it's kinda cute. All right, let's do it. All right. Let's see a close-up. Let's see if they're as bad as they look. <laughs> they are pretty bad, but it's okay. You know what? I made these with love and that's all that matters. Oh my God, guys. It looks like queso Oaxaca ahí tirado encima de las fresas. Oh my God. That one looks cute though. I'm very proud of that one. Ay Dios mío. Oh guys, I think I like how this one came out. Even though it's kind of funky, I still think it looks beautiful. This one's my favorite, even though, again, it's not perfect. It's so cute. guys, I'm really proud of how these little boxes came out. I think they look pretty adorable. Hey guys, I hope you guys enjoyed watching me struggle to make chocolate covered strawberries, but I love the outcome. And if you guys wanna get creative for your boyfriend, parents, mom, dad, best friend, brothers, I think you totally should. I'm sure anyone would love some chocolate covered strawberry. Look at this one, guys. This is my favorite. I was waiting to eat this with you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and dig in because I'm also a little hungry now. Along with the chocolate covered strawberries, I also made these little chocolate hearts, which turned out way better than I imagined them to be. I really like how they turned out and I'm very proud. I think overall, this is a fun little DIY. I am ending the video right here. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. There's going to be more Valentine's Day inspired videos coming up, so don't forget to join the family. Make sure to subscribe and give this video a little thumbs up, as well as turn on that little bell next to my name so you are notified every time I upload a video. I'll see you on the next one. Bye guys.